So what I'm going to do here is I'm given a zero of two thirds. And what I want to do is now uh, determine the remaining zeros. So when given the zero of two thirds, that's perfectly okay. We're gonna apply synthetic division for this and it, everything's gonna be all right. So just like the rest of the problems we've had, we'll set up our synthetic division with our zero on the outside. And then I make sure I take each one of my coefficients um, and my constant and label them up all the way going down in their descending order. So I have 48, negative 80, 41, and negative six. And what's nice about given when given a zero is you know that the zero, it's going to divide evenly. So if you make a mistake on your synthetic division, you get a remainder, you can just go back and see, you know, go back and check your algebra or your arithmetic and see what you did incorrectly. All right, so to do this, remember synthetic division, we always bring down our first term. Now I know probably some students are gonna have questions on how do you multiply 48 times 2 thirds. Well, there's a couple different ways you can do this. You can convert your 48 over to a fraction and then just multiply across. Another way you can do this is just take 48, divide 3 into it, and then multiply that by 2. Well, 48 divided by 3 is going to be 16. 16 times 2 is going to be uh, 16. Was that a negative 2 thirds? No, positive 2 thirds. Okay, so 16 times 32. Or, sorry, six, six, uh, 16 times 2 is going to be 32. There you go. All right. So then I have negative 40 plus a positive 32 is now going to be a negative 48. So now this is going to be the exact same value, but now it's negative. So therefore, that will give me a negative 32. Now, 41 plus a negative 32 is going to be a positive 9. 9 times 2 thirds, you could do 9 times 2 thirds. Multiply across, that'd be 18 over 3, which equals 6. So then when I add them up, I get my remainder of 0, which is good, right? So now I have a polynomial of a remainder of 0, a constant of 9, a middle linear term of x, and a beginning term of a quadratic of x squared. So now, I'm given one zero of two thirds, now I need to be able to determine what is the remaining factors of this. So you might look at this and say, uh, yeah, I don't know what to do with this one. Well, we look at this and let's write it out here. So I have 48x squared minus 48x plus nine. And what I need to do is I need to factor this to find the remaining factors. Um, because this, this times my other factor, which would be, uh, a 3x minus 2, this times this equals that, right? So what I need to do is I need to set this equal to 0 and find the remaining zeros. Now when looking at this, I do know I can't, I need to see what I can factor out. Well, I can't factor out a 9, but I do see that I can factor out a 3. So by factoring out a 3, I am now left with uh, 16x squared minus 16x plus 3 equals 0. Now, there's a couple different ways that we could do this as far as saying, you know, what two numbers uh, multiply to give me 16. And there's a lot of possibilities. You have 8 and 2, 4 and 4, 16 and 1. Um, the 3 isn't going to be so bad because we know they have to multiply up to 3. However, we know our two terms have to be negative for us to get to that. So let's go and look at our possibilities, actually. We could do 16x times uh, times x because we we could do 8x times 2x equals 0 or we could do 4x times 4x equals 0 and then our two terms since our middle term is negative we know that our two terms have to also be negative so my two terms here they're either going to be 3 I'm sorry they have to be either negative 1 in this row and negative 3 in this row, or negative 3 in this row, and negative 1 in that row. So let's just go and check them out for all of them. How about we do negative 1, negative 1, negative 1, negative 3, negative 3, negative 3. By applying these, I know when I multiply my first two terms, I'm always going to get 16x squared. And when I multiply my last two terms, I'm always going to get positive 3. But which one of these, when I multiply the inner and the outer, am I going to get negative 48x squared? Well, this is going to... Um, this negative 13 times x, that will give me negative, I'm sorry, which one of these when I multiply is going to give me a negative 16? Well, 40, 60, 16x times negative 3, that already gets it too big, so that's not going to work. 
Um, 8x times negative 3, that's already going to give me a negative 24. That's going to be too big. 4x times negative 3 is a negative 12. And then 4x times negative 1, that gives me a negative 4, which gives me negative 16. So guess what? I figured it out. All right? So therefore, I'll just write this back up here. 4x minus 1 times 4x minus 3 equals 0. So we already know 1, 0 is 2 thirds. To find my remaining zeros, now I can apply the zero product property. And now solve. So add 1 divided by 4, x equals 1 fourth. Add 3 divided by 4, x equals 3 fourths. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. When given 1, 0, that is a fraction, which is okay. Apply your synthetic division, then factor to find your remaining zeros. Thanks.